It is my pleasure to introduce to you our closing performer, Lee Sales. Hold on. Lee is a Lansing-based wordsmith whose performances include the Women in the Arts Festival and the collective Two Butches and Abroad, which, by the way, the next performance for Two Butches and Abroad will be on February 25th at Creole Gallery, and it is entitled Winter Heat. Ramp. So go get your erotic poetry on with Lee. Give me a mmm if you feel it, and holler if you heal it. I'm really honored to be here uh, to share the stage with these wonderful poets. Can we give everybody a hand? I have uh, two poems tonight that I've prepared uh, for, and, um, but in the spirit of open mic, I actually have one poem that I wrote today Woo! that is still in my journal. And I may need to put my glasses on. <laughs> it's called One Small Step. When we met, your smiling eyes elucidated the room. I loved your laugh right away. More, I loved that you made me laugh. I should know by now that joy follows sorrow, pleasure, pain. Like you, I cast my pearls before swine. If we stop pining for the swine, we can open our hearts to the worthy. It takes one small step for us to move forward, a slight shift in focus, a change in perception. Let's take it together, one foot in front of the other. Lean in, hold my hand, I got you. Don't be afraid to let me see you. Don't be afraid to really look at me. I'm afraid too. I have an idea. Let's open our eyes at the same time. Ready? Go. <laughs> so this poem I'm about to read um, is my new favorite poem that I didn't write. <laughs> and uh, it's called How to Make Love to a Trans Person. It's by Gabe Moses. You may have seen it out on the internet. Um, I got to meet Gabe um, and see him perform this, um, this piece at, um, um, at a poetry reading in Columbus this year. And I love it. <laughs> How to make love to a trans person. Forget the images you've learned to attach to the words like cock and clit, chest and breast, Break those words open like a paramedic cracking ribs to, per to pump blood through a failing heart. Push your hands inside, get them messy. Scratch new definitions on the bones. Get rid of the old words altogether. Make up new words, call it a click or a ditto. Call it the sound he makes when you brush your hand against it through his jeans. When you can hear his heart knocking on the back of his teeth and every cell in his body is breathing. Make the arch of her back a language. Name the hollows of each of her vertebrae when they catch pools of sweat like rainwater in a row of paper cups. Align your teeth with the alphabet of her spine so every word is weighted with the salt of her. When you peel layers of clothing from his skin, do not act as though you're changing dressing on a trauma patient, even though it's highly likely that you are. Do not ask if she's had the surgery. Do not tell him that the needlepoint bruises on his thighs look like they hurt. If you are being offered a body that has already been laid upon an altar of surgical steel, a sacrifice to whatever God's governed bodies that come with some assembly required, whatever you do, do not say that the carefully sculpted landscape bordered by rocky ridges of scar tissue looks almost natural. If she offers you breastbone aching to carve soft fruit from its branches, 
though there may be more tissue in the lining of her bra than the flesh that rises to meet it. Let her ripen in your hands. Imagine if she lost those swells to cancer, diabetes, a car accident, instead of an accident of genetics. Would you think of her as less a woman then? Then think of her as no less one now. If he offers you a thumb-sized sprout of muscle reaching towards you when you kiss him, like it wants to go deep, in, deep enough inside you to scratch his name on the bottom of your heart, hold it as if it can, in your hand, in your mouth, inside the nest of your pelvic bones. Though his skin may hardly do more than brush yours, you will feel him deeper than you think. Realize that bodies are only a fraction of who we are. They are just oddly shaped vessels for hearts, and honestly, they can hardly contain us. We strain at their seams with every breath we take. We are all pulse and sweat, tissue and nerve ending. We are programmed to grope and fumble until we get it right. Bodies have been learning each other forever. That's what bodies do. They are grab bags of parts, and half the fun is figuring out all the different ways we can put them together, all the different uses for hip bones and hands, tongues and teeth, all the ways to car crash our bodies beautiful. But we could never forget how to use our hearts, even if we tried. That's the important part. Don't worry about the bodies. They got this. I read this next poem at Witta um, Friday night, and I finished it Friday morning. Um, it was a really hard poem to write, and I should say that if you think the poem is talking about you, it is. And if you think the poem may not be talking about you, it may be. It's called Listen Up. I am my father's daughter and my mother's son. I am just beyond your peripheral vision. Turn your head, look at me. It's a quiet revolution. There are no marches, no burning bras, no consciousness raising. I am the silent T in LGBT. Add Q, Q, I, A at the end, and you barely even notice I'm there. I can call myself transgendered, I can call myself transsexual. I may take hormones or not. I may have surgery or not. I may prefer the term queer, faggy boy, genderqueer, queer butch, queer femme, girly boy, trans man, trans woman, he, she, z. Less and less do I call myself a lesbian. So as not to be confused with you. How did lesbian become a term so associated with intolerance? You lesbian feminists are our heroes. You taught us that women had the right to be anything they want to be. Much as you struggled with it yourself, you taught us about equality. Women, woman, does not hold a narrowly defined definition. You taught us that. You are really the mothers of this revolution. Mothers who don't recognize their own sons, now your, their own children, now that, you've, now that we're grown. Mothers who don't know how well you taught us your lessons. Turn your head. Look at me. Just last month, my ex said to me, it's too bad that Chastity Bono had a, had a sex change. She was so pretty as a woman. And one of my oldest friends said to me, if this transgender stuff keeps up, there won't be any butches left. Listen up. All the butches are still butches. Sometimes butch is a destination. Sometimes butch is a bus stop. With all the voices that are not my own trying to identify me, it may take me a minute to figure out which it is. Evolve already. Let me show you, let me school you. Transgender is an umbrella term that includes anyone who does not fit the social norm for their sex. I transgress the gender norm. It's a continuum and you can't pr presume where I am on it. You have to ask me about the pronouns. You may have to turn your head you may have to look at me. Got it? It's okay if you don't get the terms. They may change tomorrow. They may have changed yesterday, and I just haven't read the blog yet. <laughs> Here's what you really need to know. I get to determine who I am. I, if I say I'm a woman, you don't get to tell me any different. Does this sound familiar to you at all? 
You taught us this. You also taught us to be fearless and speak truth to power. Remember what some, when some told us that butchers were self-hating women who want to be like men? Remember when femmes were conformist to the heterosexual normative? If you are not the oppressed and or actively fighting oppression, you are the oppressor. How did you learn to use the master's tool so well? Do you even know that trans persons are more likely to suffer physical violence, are more likely to suffer economic oppression, often lose their jobs over which bathroom to use? Gabe Moses said, we can never forget how to use our hearts. I hope he's right. Right now we're too busy deciding how to feel with our heads. I'm tired of talking about identity politics. You can keep your whatever way feminist theory. I'm living in the real world out here. Listen up. Pay attention. Turn your head. Look at me. Evolve already. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay.